Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat or Ashley, and today I want to talk about my favorite deck boxes. So let's jump right into it. And if you'd like to purchase any of these decks, you can use the links down below to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. So I think I'm going to leave the best for last. So starting with the Ultimate Guard Boulder 100. This is a great deck box and hopefully you can find it at your LGS for around $10. What I love about this is that the material is tough stuff and also it's very easy to open so you just have to push it forward and it's already opened and that's it. Um, and what's cool is you can have a little extra compartment for dice or whatever but it has to be after you've opened it. But still it's really cool and there's multiple colors which is very helpful for an accessories lady like me so that's great. And one thing I want to mention about the Ultimate Guard Boulder is that a while ago on Twitter, I, there was a question asked by uh, Matthew, actually, from Magical Hacker, and he was curious how he could either better multitask or help those who only have one arm. And so I think the Ultimate Guard would be a great option because, for example, I have really small hands anyways, so I couldn't do it with the Spectrum, which I'll talk about in a minute, but what's really cool is that I can open this with one hand, and then you'll set that down. But what's really cool is that it's already accessible and imagine this is on the table. There you go. So hopefully that helps if you have one arm or if you like to multitask a lot. The next deck box I wanna talk about is the Spectrum Prism. So I got the orange in this one because I don't think I have an orange deck box. Uh, this is a, again, a translucent, transparent uh, kind of deck you can see slightly through it and this is a little bit different of a deck box because it loads through the side so your cards are going to be sideways compared to the ultimate guard which is actually top down so if you have a preference over that this can be a really good option and also again very easy to open and um, it's just a little bit bigger than the ultimate guard just by a sliver that might be a pun, probably not, but still another great deck box. Now my personal favorite deck box right now is the Game Genic Squire and this fits 100 plus I believe, but I would not trust it to hold double sleeves because it does not do that. But if you just single sleeve your cards and have a few double sleeve, this is perfect for you. So. This is a magnetic case, unlike the other ones which are plastic, and I love it because this is literally the easiest, easiest to open, and it doesn't take up as much space. So for example, magnetic, this comes loose, and then again, just attaches, no space is wasted. This is such a great idea, and um, again, this is a top loader, so it's not going to be sideways. This is my favorite one right now. I now have white, blue, and black. Again, no Esper pun intended, but I think those are my favorite colors, so it probably is intended. Now, I did want to mention a kind of favorite deck box. So I have a love-hate relationship with the Ultra Pro uh, Satin Tower. What's really great about this is that it has a little compartment, at least the original one does, where you can put dice in there and... Um, the problem is though, whenever you try to open these things, or the, even the newer ones that are a bit shorter, they just remove this little compartment. It is so tough, it's annoying, because like you're just wanting to change your deck, go to the next game, whatever, that kind of scenario, and you're just left with people are already shuffling their hands and you're still trying to open this thing. It's that bad. So no edits here, I'm going to try to open this, and again, I have probably the worst strength ever, but I'll show you what I'm saying. Okay, so that was easy, so I'm surprised about that. So I'm going to get another one. So this is... So what will happen is it gets locked in whenever I'm trying to open one side. Okay, so it is worse than this usually. I'm going to get one more and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the deck box I'm talking about. It's missing that bottom compartment. This is their newer version of it. This is very difficult to open. Again, I'm not going to edit this. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Either I am super strong now, but other than that, um, maybe I've been opening them wrong, but usually I have a lot of trouble with these deck boxes. 
Anyways, besides all of that strength testing going on, these are the only deck boxes that can hold a double sleeved deck. And this is my uh, Oz Gear deck. I really like this one, so I had to double sleeve it. And uh, let me know if you do that to your favorite decks as well. Do you double sleeve them or have some kind of special treatment for them? I'd love to know. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you'd like to see some sleeve reviews, I have a great video right here for you. These are my favorite sleeves, the Dragon Shield sleeves, so definitely check this one out. And thank you to the patrons who help support this show, and thank you to the viewers who help support this show as well by watching it, and liking, sharing, commenting, all of that is very helpful. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.